Alright guys, this is Mithril back with another Fallout New Vegas unique item guide video. And today the weapon we are checking out is the... A Light Shining in Darkness. Now to get this weapon, you basically have to complete the Honest Hearts DLC. And then once you do that, there's going to be a Foot Locker right at the entrance of Zion. And in it, we'll have the weapon. So let me take a look at it in first person. Okay... It's got like, what are these sites supposed to be called? Like trench sites? Trench sites? Not iron sites, but trench sites. Oh my god, if I can speak. Trench sites. There we go. Uh, okay, then let's go TFC 1, TM. All right, it has Greek writing on it. On the slide. And then it looks like it has some sort of rattlesnake grip. It's pretty small. And that's kind of about it. So let me... Something like that. So what the Greek writing means is... And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. So let me read off the stats for you guys. So you need 75 in guns. You need a strength of 3. Now the damage per attack is 33. The damage per projectile is 33. The DPS is 144.4. And then the DPS on reload is 65.2. Not quite sure what that means, but that's just what it says. Its critical damage is 33. Its crit multiplier is times 2. Its attacks per second is 4.4. And to use this weapon in VATS, it's going to cost you 15 AP. Now it shoots one projectile, and then it has a spread of 0 0.55. It uses 45 auto ammo. It uses one ammo per shot, and then it is six shots till reload. And then the gun holds six shots in the magazine, and the reload time is 1.7 seconds. It weighs 1.2 pounds. Its value is 4,500. The item HP is 250. And the perks that affect this weapon are grunt, Bloody mess, Lord Death, thought you died, fast shot, ain't like that now, and rapid reload. So, the grunt perk, you get this from the Honest Hearts DLC, you need to be level 8, have 45 in guns, and then 20 in explosives, and then it gives you 25% more damage with 9mm and 45 auto pistols and SMGs, service rifles, assault and marksman carbines, light machine guns, frag grenades, grenade rifles and launchers, and combat knives. Bloody Mess gives you plus 5 damage with all weapons, and enemies can explode upon death. Lord Death at rank 3 gives you plus 4% damage to all enemies. Thought You Died, which you can get from the Lonesome Road DLC, it gives you plus 10% damage, plus 10 HP for every 100 karma points. Your karma is reset to neutral, and then you are immune to critical hits. Fast Shot, it gives you fire rate increased by 20%, AP costs are decreased by 20% for all firearms, with energy and guns. However, there is a penalty of weapon spread increasing by 20%. Your VAT's accuracy decreases by 20% with all energy weapons and guns. Ain't like that now. Another Lonesome Road DLC perk. It gives you 25% faster AP regen, 20% attack speed increase, your karma is reset to zero, and then once again you are immune to critical hits. Rapid Reload, which you can get at level 2, as long as you have 30 in guns and 5 agility, and it gives you 25% faster reload oh boy that was a that was a whole lot to go over so TM, tfc1 so let's go check this weapon out on some bad guys all right so i am here at quarry junction and as always i do have god mode on and then just so you guys can see i have 100 in all my skills and then 10 in all my stats. Now, even though it says the ammo is 45 auto, this is not auto. Now, this weapon uses three types of rounds, 45 auto, plus P, whatever that means, and then hollow points. We will be checking out all the different ammo types on the legendary Deathclaw because, you know, 
have to add those into the video. But for now, we're just going to use normal rounds on regular death balls. It certainly fires fast, I will give it that. Alright, and it can hit without having to aim down sights pretty well, too. Hmm, it not having a sight of any kind. It's kind of unfortunate. Is junk rounds going to affect this weapon? I don't think so, but just in case, let me look at it. Okay, good. It just for crafting ammo. Hmm. It's kind of hard to hit anything, honestly. Aiming down sights. It might almost just be better just to hip fire this weapon. All right, where is the alpha male? Now, when I was doing the reviews on melee weapons and unarmed, we were doing nine hit tests on the alpha male. So, let's see if he can get through the 9-hit shot, I guess. I'm just gonna go for center mass, so 1, 2... Really, that takes ammo, even in god mode, huh? I did not know that. Alright, so let's not miss. 1... I think I hit. Hmm... I didn't know that. Hmm. Let me do that and then go through my long list. Oh, can I not go further than that? I guess I can't go further than that. All right, that's a uh, that's a shame. I didn't know that took. Yeah, it takes your bullets even in uh, God mode. All right, so let's see how many shots it's gonna take. I think that was 21, but I could have missed. Alright, now that I know that, though, in the next review, I'm definitely going to add more bullets. So let me kill all, and then clear the place at me, and then the legendary death clock code is 00167EFF. All right, so let's see normal rounds. All right, that wasn't too bad. Now let me switch to whatever this kind of ammo is. All right, I think that definitely worked better than the normal rounds. And then hollow points. Hmm. 
All the points were definitely the worst of the bunch. But yeah, uh, there you go, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's uh, demonstration on a light shining in darkness, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe because it will help on my channel. And I will appreciate it like always. And then I hope to see you guys next time.